To understand the difference between uh, NPN and a PNP transistor, just start with a NPN transistor. And the reason why it's called the NPN transistor is because we have three different areas of silicon which are doped in negative or positive way. So this is what we call the collector part. This is what we call the base. And this is what we call the emitter. And when we now think about diodes or uh, semiconductors, a PN gives you always a diode. So when you just come from the base and look inside of that, what you have at the transistor here, at this direction, this is giving you some kind of diode. So let's start to develop a module. How is this transistor behaving? So we have, when we look from that into that direction, we have a diode. And when we look from the base into the emitter direction, we have also again a diode. So let's draw this to come to our first module. And the schematic, this helps you to remember the, um, the direction, what kind of transistor we have. So in the schematic, you find in the symbol always a arrow. And that one is the one of the diode. So this is always giving you the direction of the PN inside of the silicon. Okay, how it's working now, just to, to remember it, when we have a voltage here, which is higher than the voltage on the emitter and around 0.7 volt, then we have a current flow in that direction. So from here, we get some current flow into that direction. And this open us the, let's make it in a different color. Take that one. And this open us here a gate or it's open us a lane where we have some current flow running. So when we come from the collector, we just get that current here. And and a bipolar transistor, uh, both are related by the current amplification. So just that you know it, there's normally a fixed factor in between. So what's happening now, if we have some 12 volt or 10 volt supply, we have here, if we are in saturation, a remaining voltage of 2.0.2 volt. And uh, with that, we can switch on and off a load. So let's have a look into the other one where we have a P and P transistor or a P and P um, a semiconductor. So it's still the same. We have the collector, the base and the emitter. And let's do the same with the module. So let's start here. What color did I use? Green one. So when we look now from the base to the collector in that direction, what we see is that we have also a diode, but the diode goes into the other direction. And the same from base to emitter, we have also a diode. So it's looking like this. So we have here our base, our collector, our emitter. Okay, now inside of the schematic, how it's looking here. So we have again the more or less same symbol but the arrow goes into the other direction so this is how you can remember what kind of transistor you have it's that diode here and this is giving you always the direction of the base emitter diode so let's make the same game just have a quick look how it's working so what do we need we have here a voltage drop or we need a voltage drop of around 0.7 volt it's depending on the temperature but just for having a room temperature it will be that one and then we have a currency in that direction so a currency from here to here and this opens the channel for us from here to there and this is the same like here So um, the saturation voltage for both types is the same. So it's um, at this point where we have the, in that case, we would need a resistor on the low side. So we would need it here. 
and then we have the voltage drop if we talk about again the same voltage we have here a drop of zero or a remaining voltage of 9.8 volt and um, this is comparable the same like here if you like the video till here leave me a thumb up this helps the channel to grow and to produce more videos like this so thanks a lot and go back to the electronics so and now what does it mean for the practical part and this is or for your design which you're probably interested in let's have a look how it's looking in a, in a design so if we have our microcontroller and the microcontroller is typically supplied by 3.3 volt so you have the voltage between 0 and 3.3 what you can give out at the gpio and then you just connect a resistor to protect your um, transistor and you just have a connection like this where you go to ground and you have here some kind of resistor or an led or whatever and we start at 3.3 volt so what is happening now if i have here uh let's start with with zero voltage or let's yeah let's start with zero so i have here zero i have again here zero so here's also zero voltage drops so it's nothing happening change the the view we go for three volt and then we have a 3.3 volt here we have some voltage drop about that point we don't know right now but we know that we have voltage drop from here to here of 0.7 volt so to figure out what voltage we have here we have 3.3 minus 0.7 so we have uh, 2.6 volt and this opens the gate or this opens that line here so we have a currency flowing from here to there and here we have again our saturation voltage so 0.2 volt and this gives us a voltage of 3.1 volt over the resistor let's have a look how we can do it with the pnp transistor and the other side we also come here out of a microcontroller and again we have 3.3 as a maximum voltage then we need a bit to think about so what's coming up now i need a resistor and to make it possible to open it i need to rotate the resist uh, the transistor so i need it in that direction because this direction is opening the channel inside of the transistor so and then in this case as i draw it already here the resistor needs to be on the other side and here i can go for connecting with 3.3 volt okay let's have a look what is happening here and how it's working Let's start here in that case with 3.3 volt because this is what we did on the other way. So we just make it in that color because this will be the off state in that case. Because if I have here 3.3 volt, I don't get any voltage drop over this diode because I have here 3.3 and I have here the same 3.3 volt. So nothing is happening. Let's look at to the other side. If I come with zero volt, I have here zero or ground and then in this case I have here more voltage than here so what's happening I have this 0 0.7 voltage drop and at this case I'm coming here to a point of 2.6 volt so the same like here so this gives me that voltage drop over the resistor and um, and then that one is in saturation so what is happening here i have a voltage drop here over 0.2 volts so the potential for the resistor is the same with 3.1 volt so it's exactly the same like in the npn so at the first view everything is looking the same so why don't we use pnp transistors a lot and schematics the reason is that pn3 transistors only work if you have here the same voltage like here because when we adapt that voltage now to let's make it in another color again let's take that one here let's say we just take 5 volt and then we start here now it's a bit full but what is happening just take the off case in that case 3.3 volt where i want to switch off the transistor I still have some voltage drop over that and this will open the transistor anyway 
So I don't have the opportunity to close that one. This will stay open. And you often have the case where the supply of the transistor is different to the supply of the microcontroller. So that one is an issue for that circuit. And that's the reason why you normally use the MPN. And this is also more a logical thing because it's just if you have a high signal and it's turning on, this is what you normally want. This circuit has a disadvantage too. So if you come over a connector or you want to supply something over a connector, you would have to supply it or you have to switch it on the low side. So you would need to go back into your circuit and connect everything. And at some cases you don't want this because you have a common ground which just go back to the power supply. And in this case, that circuit is not helping you. But as we saw before, if we have a different power supply, this is also not helping. So what we need to do is to combine both. And this is what we call a level shifter. And this I will give you in the next video. So I hope you liked that one and see you next time. Goodbye.